Oh, well, hello. Interesting how much delay there is. I'll I'll pull up in the the YouTube and see it, yeah. So we're just checking maybe our host's uh voice is not coming out. It would help if I unmuted myself. Let me check again real quick. I think that should have done it. I was over aggressive in my uh, hiding myself. Uh, there you go. All right, cool. We're good. I think we're good. All right. So everybody, welcome to a lovely game of uh, Modern Armor 2.2 to be exact. Um, this will be a, a tribute match to the good old uh, Team Yankee by Harold Coyle. Great book. Um, this is very loosely, loosely, loosely based on the, uh, what is it, chapter two, first battle uh, from the book. Um, we're not starting entrenched as the, uh, the U.S. forces here. That's really the main difference. But otherwise, there is a village in the center. It was kind of cordoned off uh, by valley, uh, valley to the uh, east, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, it's, pretty, it's roughly the equivalent. A uh, good amount of uh, good amount of woods involved here, and correct me if I'm wrong, Walter. But uh, first of all, do you go by Walt or Walter? I, I go by Walter. Thank okay. You. And um, pretty much this blocks all line of sight within an inch of the edge. I um, I'm considering this as pretty much heavy wood. Sure, lighter heavy woods will block line of sight. Uh, if you want more like of an orchard, then then you would have line of sight through it. Right, so these, I mean, I, I guess technically you can go through it, and I think it's, what, an extra two inches per? Yeah, with a bog chance. All right, and I'm assuming you don't mind if I show the charts and tables throughout this video. Is that okay? That's quite all right. All right, I will avoid looking up rules. Maybe you can maybe you can look up the rules or just <laughs> maybe you have them embedded in your brain. So I just, yeah, it's trying to be. Um, the whole rules is through the tube all right um so a little bit in setup here though what we probably want to do first of all any side preferences for y'all nope uh, i'll go where i'm useful dylan do you have a side preference and i'll help i'll probably dylan if you want to do uh if you happen to want to do the soviets maybe i can kind of help on that side and then otherwise we'll we'll kind of i think oh, the, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Soviets. Okay. Is that okay? Let's roll. Yep. All right. Um, there's probably a little bit more to it with the um, uh, off off table artillery, et cetera. But um, of course, Walter can help us with that. <laughs> Remembering how to do all that. All right. So. You bet. All right. So uh, just setup wise, if you want to, um, especially Walter, you might. I don't know if you don't want to reposition yourself, maybe just don't don't go forward of this the 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 vertical part of this waterway. So I would you know you can set yourself up anywhere anywhere up to about this point, basically sure where they're at. If you, you can move move, so I'll let you kind of. Would you include the the hills? Are they you can, basically on approach if march? If you or? if you want to, that's fine. Now let's talk objective, of course. Um, in, in this case, the Soviets are trying to break through and take this this small village. Um, what they're going to try to do is drop off some infantry here. Now, of course, they're going to try to break through as well. <laughs> um, so, do with it as you may. You're, I mean, you're obviously the West. The West is on the defensive. Um, that's that's pretty much. That's pretty much the gist of it. Um, would, would you consider my 
that I need to hold the village? Um, yeah, it's an objective, of course. I mean, a loose objective, right? Yeah, you have a lot of Soviets coming through the valleyway here. You might not be able to hold it, but uh, take out as many as you can before you retreat. How about that? Uh, hmm. So if I'm starting behind the village, okay, good to know. Uh, and I've got I've got infantry mounted. I've got you said. Uh, Those are the ITVs. The, okay. Um, remember in in the novel did they have was one of the infantry platoons in the in the village i can't remember now it's i years think they, I they think they did they were they were separate the third platoon i can't remember Give me one second. Oh, come on. yeah looking at the table without a component in the village it's uh it's hard to imagine me going into the village at this point so hmm. yeah i mean i i would have just thought an infant, you know one of your infantry platoons in the village would be would be fine with this yeah you can re you can you can do that yeah, i mean the the soviets are definitely on their way here i mean you can i just don't want any of your armor deployed in front of the village i guess we so okay you can go up do you have uh you have miniatures for the dismounts I'm sorry. Do you have oh, figures for the um, yeah, um, Hold on a second. I think I might. Give me one moment. Okay. They might have to be Marines. But hold on. Well, that that suits me fine. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I have any chance. Uh, modern op for modern army infantry. Let's see what I can find here. Sorry, I should have had that ready. These are a little bit too modern, but let's see what you got here. Way back yonder. Does that fit your does it fit your bill there at all? I see it. Yeah. Stop though, or did they? Yeah, they do. Here you go. It's fun, the fiddliness of it. Hey, he fell over. He's like a real miniature. All right. This is why we base our infantry. Well, right. So you can kind of, well, you can group that together too. You can do whatever you want there. Hmm. Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh, dear. You're going to basically start them in the. Yeah, that's the idea. They're in the, the buildings there. So, huh. All right. So I will, I'll do the rest of my setup here. And yeah, go for it. We're kind of yeah. like uh, Dylan and I will try to kind of not look at what you're doing. It's fine. All right. So Dylan, you're welcome to reposition. Why don't you reposition the tanks however you see fit if you want to. Just try not to go maybe, a, try not to go too far in front of this area. How do I... Uh... Oh, I have, to, I have to choose a side. Well, yeah, click on your uh, change color name. or change theme. Uh, change uh, color. Change color. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I should go like purple or something. And whichever, whatever. It. I don't think I. Yeah, there you go. And then you should okay. be able to move things. I would just try not to move them too too much in front of this cliff face. Um. Again, you can kind of reposition these platoons here. This is the battalion command. That's the headquarters. Yeah. Right. And I was trying to get to my spreadsheet of all this. <clears throat> now, you had corrected me on one thing. Um, it was the T-72, is that right? Uh, no, the T-72A seems like the right model. Um, it's got the... Uh... But it does have the laser rangefinder, so it is. It does match the, the T72M line there. Yeah. Let's see. One, two, three. What am I doing? Well, 
what are these um, rock piles affect on movement? Um, they, what are we classing that as? Uh, oh, rough, yeah. rough ground, do you that think? That would be rough terrain, I think. How do I rotate the turrets? Yeah, just good move. question. You just you mouse Grab over. Tarp, you? Yeah, you just kind of mouse over it and then do Q and E to rotate it. They kind of pop off. They also pop off. It makes for good. Uh... <laughs> oh, you know what? I can bring in some fog too here as things start firing off. Um, where do I have some of that? Let's see. Where do I have some fog? It's getting worse and worse. Where is my fog? Hmm. Oh, I took my turret off by mistake. Oh, come back. We can always copy another one if you lose it. I've I've lost several turrets, so if you see any if you see any, if you see any turrets like stuck in a tree or something, that's why. Mm -mm. And dice, we need, I think last time we had used red and white D6s pretty much, right? We will make a few copies of this. I can make these, I can scale these counters up a little bit here, make them a little bit more kind of video friendly, if you will. Let me scale them down if they look weird. <clears throat> All right, looking good, looking good, looking good. Not too bad. We got this set up pretty quickly. I thought it was going to take a little longer. So, very good. All right. Nice. All right. So, what are the most common counters we're going to be using here? We're going to probably have a lot of moved ones. Let's see. Moving, supporting fire, defensive fire. So, the in motion ones. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else we got here? We got supporting fire. And what was the last one? Defensive fire. Defensive fire. You want me to make like a few copies of all this? Put them in front of y'all. Yeah. Let's... How do we do that? All right. I don't know if you're. I want to see if you can do it. So go over one of them. Do a Control C, and then do a Control V nearby. That didn't work for you, did it? I think there's a way for me to promote you. Give me one second. Yeah, it didn't work. I think there's a way for me to promote. I can promote you. There, I promoted you, and I promoted Dylan as well. See if you can do it now. There you go. Cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. I've created a monster. To rain. Yeah, I, I want this river to go somewhere else. Thanks. Um. So this is just. I mean, this is like a small. This shouldn't impede your movement horribly. Let's see if we have a. I would probably consider this kind of like more of a creeks level. I would say it's probably you can go over this. There might be a bog roll involved. Yeah, the normal fording rule. Yeah. Stop at it, move through it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So sounds fine. Just kind of makes it a pain in the butt to try to make each other really more than anything. OK, 
Okay. So well, we are. Oh, so what is the function of the um, the battalion commander? Do they have any game function? Well, there's a couple of things. Um, they can be a uh, forward observer. Uh, they also, if you want to do like you're doing lots of players on the side, you can have them like you have like a command structure where they're issuing orders and they can only do so many orders a turn. We don't always play that way. So the main things are. They're uh, an observer, and if they get killed, it's going to affect uh, cohesion. So they're primarily a, a, a burden, like, you know, many high-level officers. <laughs> All right. So that's the one thing I did not do for the scenario. I didn't really, I didn't set, isn't there like a, is there not a command level, like a cohesion morale level? That is, I, I am moving that to an optional rule. Because I find I don't use it very often when I design scenarios. Right. If you look at like, so in other words, we're just going to use the base. Yeah, the base, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically you know we got we've got one Russian player, basic. Well, the two of you, but right. it's like you're, you're doing what you want at the company level. Right. If you had like you want to say, oh, I've got a bigger thing going on, and I want to have more formal command structure. That's where you'd use the 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 command limits for the for the battalion. Okay, so then, and I also can't remember, do you just roll to decide first player, or is it just by scenario usually? It, it's by scenario. I would think, uh, I think you'd give that to the Soviets. Yeah. All right, I guess let's get cracking. Um, All right. So, good luck to everyone. Um, so, let's go through the turn sequence. Uh, cohesion rolls are artillery and air contact um, at this point, there's really no cause for cohesion rule, correct? Yeah, nobody's nobody's had a cohesion inflicted on them. So then the only thing you would want to do is if you want, basically the Soviets first, so they're going to roll now to make contact with, with their them. air and artillery assets. Right. Oh, you've got the battery scene there. I like that. Yeah, it's just for a fact, really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's a that's a that's a lowercase dr. That's just a one dice roll. Is that right? it, it's two dice six. Yeah. All right, hold on. I'll, I'll roll that over here, and I can't remember what we're targeting. I think I. And you have early. you failed to make contact, so <laughs> that that uh, forward observer has to wait till the next cohesion phase to 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 be on the net. I don't even know if these forward observers can even. I think they probably could. See anything anyway. Let's see. I'm just taking a look, a little look from where these. Uh... Where'd the other That'd one go? Did we lose one of them. They can probably see that. It looks like you lost one. Yeah, I'm saying there's one, there's one over yeah. here. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Sorry. The one in the north. Uh, I don't know if you can see my ruler. Um, yes. How did you do that? I didn't know you. Could... I switched to the ruler tool. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you can like basically do that like a laser. Yeah. So the northern observers can see the the people. I don't know how to ping. I wish I remember how to ping. I can't, even, uh, I can't remember how to do that. Uh, so the yeah the stuff on the road they can actually see the yeah, the Bradleys and the southern observers can see right to that platoon of of Abrams. So you still have so you got two observers. The say the ones closer oh, to the. Oh, oh. Bottom of the table can also roll. Yeah. All right. You want me to roll forward? I can do that. I'm really horrible, apparently, at modern armor right. rolling. So. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, yeah, go play a game that needs high rolls. Uh, so they have contact, and if now uh, we're moving into supporting fire, if they want to call on artillery assets, they can try to activate it now. So and then guys can see. And did we say that they could see here? Yeah. They can see that unless you think the woods are too tall for where they are. So that's your call because you you did the map. Yeah, I. That's high like trees, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, I can scale them down if you they're, want. But... They're they're uh, you know, the the trees are uh, placeholders. They're not literally that size. Yeah. I'll just. So this is question of how high you think the hill is. Whether they would really see over. I think woods they the probably distance. would be able to. Mm -hmm. And it's certainly, I'm further away than the than you know the woods are less than half of the distance, so I think you're uh you're good to go there. 
I'm just scaling everything down three clicks. And obviously this doesn't count as a, a spot for tanks and so on moving up, but you would have general awareness of where my, my guys are because of the observers. So you could drive your tanks towards me and then try to make their spot roll when they get a fire opportunity. Okay. <clears throat> so we are saying we can fire all... Oh, when you're in the ruler mode, you get the... Uh... Oh, oh is that what you gotta do? Yeah. So then you just hold it down, or is it all... When you click on oh. something, you get the, the focus. I'm not getting that. Are you in the ruler mode? Yeah. Do you have to be like in a... Uh... No, I just I've got the ruler. I've got it set to inches, and See, I just um, when I when I just click. There's the certain. There you go. Oh, double click. For me, it's double click. For some reason, that we okay. All right. Well, now we know. <laughs> Mystery solved. All right. Um, so we are going to try to call some artillery in here. All right, so 2 day 6 to activate. Ooh. Oh, they super activate. So now the question is whether you want to start with a spotting round or if you want to go right to fire for effect. There's a little bit of difference in accuracy. Uh, basically, two points worse on your roll if you, just, if you just say go ahead and fire for effect. Fire for effect, I think. Okay, so uh, you've got an artillery, like a technology modifier of a point. Normally it's six, so now seven or less to be accurate. It's a gun roll. Of course, it's I don't not know accurate. That. So basically, click where you were aiming. Uh, it's aiming like right there. So now you're going to roll a die for direction and a die for distance. So let's say the white die is the direction, and one will be the top of the table. So it's going to go. Uh, uh, Bottom right, six inches. So it's going to come down about uh, right here. All right. So here. basically, um, uh, was that six inches really? The scale's weirding me out a bit. The scale's a little, scale might be off, but it's off for everybody. <laughs> I'm going to say this vehicle might be in the, the uh, air effect. <laughs> So now you're going to roll two dice six on the artillery chart. And what's what's the size of the battery of these 152s? That yeah. sounds right. Mm -hmm. What chart again was it? It's the... This is on chart J, indirect fire versus armor. So it's a good time to roll uh, snake eyes. Ah, the meat roll box cars on my cohesion, and we all go. I'm looking home. at so armored vehicles. <laughs> okay, so I'm so I'm just looking at it directly here. So it's I'm looking at armored vehicles. Yeah. Okay, so you're then, gonna roll two dice six. Yeah, and, then, and with the the size of the battery, uh, six or less is an interesting result. Right. Because you're so subtracting saying, yeah, one from so, the roll. So the roll of five is vehicle halts, four crew pass, bail check. Three immobilized, two resolve as HE right. round. And because so a direct hit from a HE round yeah. from indirect fire is very unusual. It still could happen. So. Right. All right. Here we go. All right. See so a roll. And I roll hard. So that, that vehicle is not affected, but uh, it's still going to force a cohesion uh, roll for me. Okay. So go ahead and do that immediately, or you do that during your uh, I do that during my cohesion phase. Okay. All right, so let's go back to the turn. We, we mark, do we put a marker down for that then, or how do we keep track of all the things? Uh, we probably... should mark that the artillery is there. We don't mark that I need a cohesion roll. We just have to remember it. That's a, a good idea for future enhancement. You know what? Let's put a marker on there just for – take it off. We know it's not real, yep. but it just yep. reminds us that we – We also want to know where the artillery was centered because right. um, well, here, your next fire opportunity, which could be my – Defensive what, fire during here? my movement, or your next supporting fire. Yeah, it sounds about right. Then, then you would be able to correct it. Yeah, we were about right there. I'll put I'll put that cohesion reminder here. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So that's all that, and, and that's that's where you would you would 
redirect your fire from the battery next turn if you continued it. So. Mm -hmm. All right. So Unless you pick a new target. That's all. We don't have any other cohesion rolls, blah, blah, blah. That was the supporting fire. Now we're so into movement. Into your movement, right. And I don't know if you know off the top of your head your movements for all these, but uh, I can go look up the... I do not have the memories, and uh, I didn't. I didn't print cards for these, so that's okay. I would have to. Um, I am looking at my chart then that's for the T seventy twos. For the T seventy twos, it's eighteen D, which means uh, which means you can river forward. Ah. You know, take time to prepare. But you know, anyway, so um, uh, right now that just means uh, eighteen. All right. Let's move some back to the hand tool. Do you want me to, um, Dylan? Do you want me to kind of move these guys down here, or I don't care where? Okay, you go. Is that okay? Yeah, I'll watch what you're doing. All right. Right. So, uh, this is uh, how you do assuming, <laughs> yeah, assuming they're not in motion, you start by paying a point to go in motion, uh, and then you, you just start measuring off. So you burn yeah. an inch just going in motion. Is that right? Right. Okay. And then. Uh, six degree turns a point, stopping's a point. I guess these guys are gonna be. Let me figure out how to move these darn things. With the thing, tab movements. All right, so I have this. So there's a little bit of a turn involved here. You're saying that does cost an extra point. Uh, well, I mean, if you're just bowing around the the woods, we'll just eyeball it. But if if you are taking a a sharper turn, then then you would pay a point for it. Sixty degree. Oh, a second. This isn't very good. I'm going to get immediately fired on, right? Um, oh, absolutely. <laughs> so if so, I at least pull up through the pull up into the woods further than right. an inch out. Now, now before we go on, you should roll a, a bog for him because uh, it being heavy woods, that's an eleven or twelve. Okay. Oh, you had to you had to jinx me. <laughs> there we go. Okay, he loves it. Bog. And then remember too, if if you have vehicles like closely following each other through the woods, then you can have the one pay extra to trailblaze, and then the ones behind it have less of a bog chance. Okay, I'm doing all right. I have no, I have, at this point, I'm just learning the rules, not the tactics. So uh, right. <laughs> so also, okay. uh, uh, I could interrupt you for defensive first fire, but uh, nothing has called on me to do that yet. So. Yeah, I think technically you probably hit this guy, right? I could shoot at him, yeah, before he goes in the woods, but I, I have not. I have let the moments slip by. Uh, and then, so no matter what, if I go, so in other words, if I move these BMPs here, you're going to hit me no matter what, right? I am, yeah, I haven't expended any defensive fire, so I could just do so. Are these uh, T-72s in motion, or did they stop there? They stopped there for now. Okay. Oh. Exciting things are happening up north. Yeah. That's fine. If you if you come uh, into the intersection, Dylan will will stop, and I'll I'll see if I'm defensive for firing. So. Let's check these BMP movements. These are twenty R. The R stands for. Amphibious river amphibious. Oh, nice. So we just without having to stop through then. Uh, well, they still right. They uh, no, that's right. They would they would pull up to the river and they would pay the the higher movement cost to go in the water. So, but they wouldn't bog. So. Oh boy. So I have to stop at the at the river. Like the yeah. Okay. Yeah. You 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 stop at the river. Then the next turn you're in the river. And then the turn after that, you're out. Well, you'd be the far end of the river because it, you you have enough movement. So, but yeah, stop. Find a you find a bank you can go down, and then next turn. You, but you have no bog chance with those guys because they they float. Oh, good. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. Is he north of the woods or is he in the woods? He's north of the woods. I'm trying to get him close to the Bowman River. It's not hard. It doesn't angle. Mm. Oh. Uh oh, I've lost the power. I don't know how much 
Oh, my son, nice. my son just noticed what we're doing, so he's he's impressed, right. intrigued. <laughs> Good. That was. A... Yes. I... Is the town worth that much? <laughs> I'm gonna be absolutely pot shot if I go across here. <sighs> okay, let's just. So there was a bit of a turn here, but I'm not going anywhere near 20 inches. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Are you going to stay in motion? Is the only other question. Yes, I will. Okay. So, yeah, you'll grab a, a motion chip. I might just keep him in formation and just put him. Oh, they, yeah. Do they have to do a you... platoon movement, too, by the way? Do we, oh. are, do we, are we enforcing Soviet doctrine on it? You should follow Everybody doctrine, has. but that's uh, yeah, that's uh, that's just part of being a moral person. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, one <laughs> one uh, one motion counter. Communism for. has morals. <laughs> There's ethics. Right. Um, uh, now ask me what the difference is. Um, uh, but it, you know, one for a platoon is fine. So, however, you keep track of what's going on there. So. I think we're just doing it as three per platoon. We're good. All right, that's further than it looks. Over 30. All right. But if I got hit by any of those rounds on the BMPs, they would have been just taken out, even at that range, if I recall. Oh, heck yeah. And, yeah. and this, <laughs> being, this being the modern, you know, APFSDS, uh, being a few kilometers away doesn't make you impossible to hit. Not an easy shot, but and just for the audience sake, what is it? It's an inch per fifty meters. Sorry, right. inch per fifty meters. Yeah, uh, if you're if you're in Europe, you can play with centimeters. Huh. No one, no one will uh, <laughs> object. I think actually centimeters and three millimeter models, if you can see them, because I'm too old for that, would work pretty well. We played two. Um, Particularly in, in the World War II game, where we do uh, 50 meters for four inches. And then you actually get to where the vehicles are close to map scale. That looks nice when you get it right. We did a, a stone ridge to scale at uh, four inches to 50 meters. I'm going to fix your turret over here. Thank you. I'm, I seem to be incompetent at that. So uh, looking at the ranges here, I have... Uh, I have a T-72 I can shoot at. Unless, was your idea to be where you could see me or where you were on the backside of the woods? I was on the backside of the woods at that point. Okay, yep. So I have missed the opportunity to shoot at you because I saw you moving and then you went in the woods. Oh, okay. And I didn't, what I would do is, is interrupt you and say, well, now I'm going to do first fire. I didn't opt to do that. See, I'm the diversion. <laughs> Excellent. Oh. I'm popping smoke everywhere now. You certainly could. Nah, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> smoke borders, uh, engine smoke, etc. We don't have. That wouldn't have been the worst idea to to, to engine yeah. smoke in front of the BMPs, right? Yeah, <clears throat> we were having a debate about whether the the engine refits still do the engine smoke on on the the you know T seventy two BM threes and things like that. And I'm not I'm not clear on that. I'd have to go ask a Russian tanker. All right, so looking at your movement here, my platoon on the south end here has no targets. And looking into the town, I'm pretty sure we're not engaged yet. So we're on the side to defensive fire right now. Yeah, um, I haven't interrupted any of your movement for first fire, but mm -hmm. I have the possibility of. Oh, that is super close. I'm going to judge it where you at. Oh, yeah, there we go. I think okay. You got it. I think you got that. All right. So that is going to be defensive fire. Are you remaining in motion over there? Or are you stopping in the when you hit the village? No, I, I don't think I've got any, any pause to stop. So I would be still moving it. Oh, okay. Stable. Yeah, grab a grab motion chits. That'll that'll help you make it harder for me to hit you. So it's just the one vehicle. 
I'm pretty sure it's the only one in the line of sight. Everyone else has buildings in the way. Right, so, so describe this 30, as we do these. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so we're looking at um, we're at 27 inches, mm -hmm. so we're on the 30 inch range band. This is 120 millimeter AP DSFS, so we're looking at a base chance to hit of uh, nine. Mm -hmm. and the following modifiers: uh, this is I just spotted you, so that takes me down a point, and you're in motion, so it takes me down to six. And we're going against what type of armor? Oh wait, that, I'm I'm looking at the wrong sheet. Darn it. The distance was so we use the forty inch. Is that what you're on? Well, it's under. No, it's thirty. Okay. So that's the two hit. So we go down from nine to six. Okay. There and we go. yeah. All right. I got and, it. And uh, hmm, keep going. Uh, I've hit. So now uh, we look on the kill right? the chart for AP. APFSDS Gen 1 depleted uranium, 105 millimeter. That's right. I was on the wrong. Did I hit? Yeah, yes, did, I did. I so 101 to 119 millimeters, the same to hit number. Yes, okay. it is. Yeah. I was like, I, I, I forgot these I, were not M1A1s. Right. So Gen 1 depleted uranium, 105 millimeter. Right. How many points of armor on that T72? It has a magnificent armor of eight. Okay. So the base penetration for DU round against eight armor is 28 inches. We are at almost exactly that. And not over. So my to kill number is seven. Oh, oh yeah, you're using your, uh, you're using the armor chart for it. Okay. The uh, armor card, sorry. I should go get those ready. Actually, I was looking at, I was looking in the book. All right, I rolled a four. Uh, so so that, uh, does kill. that is a kill. Right. So you can pop the turret off or whatever makes sense. Oh, and oops. the crew uh, can roll the turret. Do you have any smoke? I do have some smoke. Uh, let's see what awesome. I can do. Awesome. Um, or I tried to have some smoke. Where did I put that? And we're not using... Rate of fire, any of those other optional rules, so that's it. That's his defensive fire. And I think that's all the defensive fire. We're not really engaged just yet. So <laughs> it's a really big smoke. Wow. Yeah, that is that's uh artillery smoke instead of a, a dead vehicle. So we'll we'll leave that out. Do you have like a small <laughs> fire? counter because then we could use that on vehicle um i tell you what i got something i got something for you hold on <laughs> <laughs> oh where did i use this how about like that aha uh -huh. this is a miss <laughs> but we'll scale it down a little bit it's not perfect but Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, no. It's <laughs> this is, yeah, it's like a very. When we say tabletop simulator, ladies and gentlemen, we mean simulator. Okay. All right. That's. Oh. I'm blown turret. All right. All right. And uh, I believe that is the only opportunity I had to fire. Uh, oh, and we, we kind of like uh, glanced over spotting. Um, normally speaking, unless it's a vehicle in the open, uh, within close enough range for this, we have to spot first. Uh, in this case, uh, it was automatic. So remind me to yeah. stop and do the calculations for, for detection. The detection. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So that was automatic because it was daytime and it was daytime in the open. Less vehicle, right? Moving. No intervening terrain. And so. and they were moving. Right. Is that right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll take a better look at that in the next fire. Okay. All right. So, so any uh, other defensive? I don't believe I have any other defensive fire. So we're on to your advancing fire. And I think, unless you want to pop smoke or blind fire, that, that you don't have any. We don't have any on solid Or at least none that are still alive. There we go. <laughs> All right. So supporting fires and defensive fires come off. We're into the bottom of the first inning. And I have a cohesion roll. 
uh, for the uh, platoon that was under artillery fire. Uh, so what is my base cohesion? Inside. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, oh crikey. I didn't know you could do that in this. Hold on. There it is. It came over here. All right. Let me not do that again. <laughs> just like I, I need a dice tower or a tray, just like on a real thing. Well, there's, there are such things, but... Well, you can you can you can mouse over them and hit R. By the way, you don't have to physically roll them. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good to know. Uh, so, um, if my cohesion is ten, the only modifier is the artillery and the supporting units, so I'm fine. I think we're using whatever the generic cohesion start yeah. default. Do is. I have offboard artillery? I do not, but you do have okay. these it. These are the ITVs here, by the way. Remind me what they're armed with. Um, right. They have or hold on. A couple of towed missiles. Oh yeah. Okay. I am with you now. So right. So they're not Bradley's, they're they're um M nine oh ones. M nine oh ones. Okay. Yeah. Oh the good ones. Yeah. All right, I got you now. Which the Bradley model threw me. So yeah, I, I just couldn't find an ITV. Couldn't find one for that. I'm sure there might be one that exists. I just couldn't find it. All right. Um, so, so that moves us into my contact phase, which I don't have any of. The A-10s are not answering my calls. Uh, my sporting fire, I don't see anybody. So um, that puts us into uh, my movement. And... I guess since I'm not in contact yet, my movement's going to be reinforce the people in the town. That couldn't go wrong, could it? Artillery is large. Oh yeah, that's right good. Here. Something like that. Bog roll. He did not bog. See him anymore? Oh well. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. So now we have my, forgive me, the M113s, I think, go 21. I can look that up very slowly. You've, you've definitely got some. Um, They're 19R. There, Peter. I'm sorry, you're asking me what, Dylan? I think you've got some defensive fire on those tanks that have just rumbled up. Yes. From your your guys here. Well, at least this guy. At least that guy. Yeah, I don't know what that other guy's been. He's oh, you're good. right. Uh, let's see. Let's get a range. All right. Yeah, yeah you can see it. It's unobstructed between you and me. So, yeah, you can turn your turret and take the shot. Nice rolling. Six. Roll to six. That's a snapshot. You're uh, firing at a stationary target because you waited until I stopped. Mm -hmm. uh, so you hit. So you've hit my frontal armor. Right, six twenty seven so to kill. So I'm. What am I firing? What are we firing? Yeah. That's Presuming you're firing uranium? first generation depleted uranium. 125 millimeter, and this is an M1, not an IP or anything like that, right? Yeah. Correct. So we're looking at what's your armor on that? It's 10. Yeah. Ooh. We'd, we'd have to be within 20 to get a. Yeah. Yeah. So 20 is your, your base, Ping, and boom. you are over 25, so you have a TK chance of three. You can get a kill, so you just have to roll a, a two or a three. Okay, that's probably not going to happen, but oh, right. yeah, of course not. Bing, uh, be bounces missed. off. Bing. I just wanted an excuse to make more of these. All right. So there's your defensive fire. So. Yep. And that's. Do you have to make that a cohesion roll um, because it got hit, or is that uh, only if you do a damage? Uh, if you're under fire, you take cohesion. Uh, so should we? Yeah, that's what we need. We need a market that just says cohesion check, right? That's yeah. a good idea. I don't have that in the in the counters currently, but uh, 
as Thomas has pointed out, I could do better counters than I've done. So you could just put a marble or something on there. Hold on one second. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Give me one yeah. second. We can just do a. Right. So right now, yeah, I, I'll be. My guys will have to do cohesion, and of course the and the armor in the town will have to do cohesion. Just to be offensive, so. and any of these purples are they need a cohesion check. <clears throat> on my um, my tanks in the town. Yeah. Did this guy done a cohesion check too. Yeah, I yeah, will. Yeah, yeah, here it is. I'll take that out. All right. All right, so I'm moving on to my next uh, movement, which is these guys are going to show up here in motion. Stop me if you've got a shot on them from somewhere. One are... thing the artillery observers can do uh, if they see things moving, they can react to that and they can try to uh, bring artillery down on them. I'm kind of increasing the scale on these. I think a couple of these look like miniature versions. Yeah. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that, that guy there uh, at 18.6 inches. Can you see that? Yes, I see it. Looks like you've got a shot right through the town. Uh, I think that's an intervening terrain because you're shooting okay. through buildings. So that's that's going to affect you by point, and it's a snapshot. There's so, also a morality modifier. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You just oh, woke no, up we Grandma. Don't care, we don't care about human <laughs> civilians. You just so woke guys, up Grandma Nanushka. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, your vehicles are in motion, aren't they? Yes, they are, definitely. Okay, so uh, we start off with 10. It's a snapshot. Uh, it's a nine. Intervening train is eight. Vehicles in motion is six. And now we move on to your, uh, uh, your being in motion. So you are uh, stabilized. So we go to five. And you're still in motion. goes to four. And uh, down to two. Um, yeah. Because you move, because you did a full move during your turn. So, okay. and you miss. Okay, it's a good roll, but uh, yeah, yeah. You've baked a lot into this, in it, but it's still easy to execute. That's what I'll say. All right. Yeah, yeah you got to you look down the charts. Which yeah. numbers affect me, etc. Yeah. yeah so. Yeah, that's the thing where, you know, the whole thing with, with armor. Okay, I've got to account for Chobum. I've got to account for two mm -hmm. generations of ERA, hard kill, soft kill. So, and uh, the big thing, like, you know, years back I was playing uh, WRG, and the big thing I got out of that is is kinetic rounds have to have range charts to feel right. They have to have the, the range bands. Yep, absolutely. So, okay, now I know I could get shot at there. I think uh, those guys are going to pop smoke. There, I've misused your, uh, uh -huh. your thing. Yeah, I just don't have a really good... You know what? I, <laughs> you know what? Hold on, I might have something else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got something for that. Hold on. Um, oh, that's not going to do it. Well, you're looking for that. Um, I'm going to do my next movement, and this is something where your uh, observers might want to react. So this tank here is going to start. Oh, there we go. Moving forward. And as soon as he does that, you can you can uh, attempt to activate the artillery again and adjust its fire to react to him. Or I can does, keep moving. Does he... Um... Like rumbling through that beaten zone, does he? Is that affect him at all? So like a rough, probably rough terrain at that point. It could even have pretty significant pockets, right? But it's probably just rough it's terrain if that. 152, <laughs> but it's still, yeah. it's still, you know, it's, yeah, it's probably it's like big open area that artillery yeah. is dropping. You still mm -hmm. drive through it. If you want to you continue made it fire, <laughs> right? I do want to do want... adjusted fire. Okay, so you just uh, back when I started moving. Yeah. Okay, I go into motion. Here I am, and now you can. You can drift the the marker up to six inches. So try to get it on you. Yeah. Well, you might want to yeah. try and, and get a couple of the other vehicles in the process. So, yeah. What is the, width, what yeah, is the radius right. of this? Uh, so if you if you have the book handy, it's it's basically three inches across. So. I, okay. All right. So. Let's, I, I can't even remember how much three inches is here. It's I don't think you're going to have any difficulty getting on the on the three vehicles in the platoon anyway. right here. So, yep. Okay. All right. So uh, now all you need to do is pass an activation roll. 
what you need to do. There we are. And now you're going to have three rolls on the vehicles on that indirect fire trip. And let's go to that chart again. You said that was J. Chart J. Indirect fire. So let's uh, go from the one that started moving up the line. You want to roll a five or less. Oh. You rolled a five? No, no, not, not yet. No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Four of we. Okay. First vehicle not affected. Second vehicle. Second vehicle. Ooh, that yes, becomes that. a four. Uh, the crew must pass a bail check. They panic. And that is their cohesion. Mm. Oh, my goodness. They barely stayed in the vehicle. Okay. And then this they is the last have... third vehicle. Yeah. No. no. Nothing. Thanks. So. Okay. Eh, but again, you've, you've forced them around. There you go. Nice. Nice. Yep. Don't worry at all. It, it never stays. It's hilarious. <laughs> all right, I got to grab a ruler here. I should that actually looks pretty good. <laughs> <clears throat> My turret's messed up again. And uh, there will be a roll now for the bog chance. Okay. I did not screw. I did not screw up my precious uh, government property. Likewise. If you do this enough, eventually you will bog a vehicle. And they are stopping at the end of the. So, hold on to the tune here. and nobody could see me, so nobody else fired at me. Okay, so they're there and they stopped. Uh, the let's see who else is moving here. Uh, at this point, probably no one. Although, wait, let me see what any of these. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna have some advancing fire in the intervening terrain. Uh, okay, so uh, that finishes my, does it? No. I popped smoke, so. I actually ruined my own shot, so there you go. Huh. You put off smoke over here? No, uh, where I put the white thing. Oh, in, okay. so. Yeah, they got shot at, so they popped smoke. So uh, that is the end of my movement. Is there any defensive final fire? I don't think we have anybody. Okay, uh, and then it would be my advancing fire. I am out of illumination range for the ITV, and I blocked visual. So that's it for that. And then let me see if I've got anybody to shoot at. I do. I've got your guy that defensive fired. I could have gun dueled him, and I did not. Let me see if both tanks... What are the rule? What is? What are the stipulations of the gun duel? Actually, I couldn't have. I would have to know you were there. It's like, if there's someone you know is out there, and they're firing on you, then you right. can say, I'm going to go ahead and do my advancing fire now, uh -huh. and then whoever rolls a better to hit roll got the, the drop on it. Yeah, high noon. So right. both of these guys can fire and they're under 30. So it's a snap because I just spotted you. You're stationary and I'm stationary. So on the 30 bracket, We're looking at a base of nine for uh, 105 millimeter APF SDS. I uh, don't guess I have to turn my turret. Yeah, you're in the front arc there. So, um, so that's nine. Uh, you're stationary, so we go to eight. I'm firing an advancing fire. I'm stabilized. That's seven, and uh, it's after I move, so I'm down to six. So both tanks have a six. And they're definitely going to your front armor, so they'll probably bounce. Okay. Tank closer to me. Misses. Other oh, tank misses. Mm -hmm. So there we go. 
Advancing fire, no effect. And do I have anybody else who has a shot? That's it. So that's the end of the first inning. Okay, back to square one. Right, so we start with your contact rolls and your cohesion. Cohesion, yeah. All right, hold on, let's roll the contact. Both succeeded. And then it looks like both tank platoons need to roll of uh, cohesion. Okay, I will roll cohesion here. And you've got a supporting unit, and I bet your cohesion is 10, so you're yeah. fine. And then, uh, yeah, Dylan, if you would roll for your tank platoon. Also fine. Seems fine. Okay. Now, All right. we artillery call. That's right. We are in, yeah, we're in supporting fire. Right. So artillery and direct fires by people who are not going to move. All right, Ken. Oh, you can direct fire from for non-moving units. Right. So I right. can fire that's here. The, yeah, and that's your best chance to hit. At that point, you're down. You fired at the target before. Right. And it's the same target. You're not moving. They're not moving. So you would be uh, an 11 to hit. You hit, hit. And we already figured out your odds of a kill were uh, a 3. So, and what are the odds well, of me making those odds? <laughs> Very low. <laughs> oh well, he tried. Probably should have just advanced. All right. Um, See, it's worth the shot. And oh, then we have our artillery fire. How close do we have to get to actually do any damage to you? So, uh, your base range is twenty. Um, against 10 armor so at 20 inches it's a seven or less and then of course you get a oh, flank wow. shot on me if you get a flank shot on me i'm dead so they haven't started packing extra armor plated uh explosive reactive armor on the flanks of these things yet so hmm. <laughs> swarm yeah. emps up your ass <laughs> literally <laughs> Well, BMPs might not. Yeah, maybe well, not. get behind throw... me and fire, fire their missiles. So, yeah. Right. This is the thing at long range. Your your um your non kinetic weapons are better. Uh, so up until ERA, it basically the assumption was the ATGMs would do all the killing. And go for they kill more vehicles with with tows than yep. with uh, cannons. So. What um what heat is the AT five? Is it an M heat? I assume it probably is. I, you have me on the spot. I need to check the chart. If I'd been with it, I would have printed the cards ahead of time. AT five is an M heat. Yes. So do these BMPs have ATMGs or TGMs? Yep. The, M, yeah. M heat, which will kill them on a five or less. Oh, they have the M yeah. heat? Yeah. Oh, nice. So remember, when you look at M heat and 10 armor, you've got to remember to uh, mm. modify oh, it for Chobum. Well. Chobum. Yeah. So while you're down That's where the M1 is miles ahead of a, of an M60. What are the range on this? Ooh. Yeah. Like, ATGMs, you can... With Reach out and touch people across the table. What you cannot do is fire them while you're moving. Okay. And then in right, fact, you need to be well. stationary for supporting fire. Right. The idea being, what am I doing during this five minutes? I am on Overwatch blasting away, or I'm okay. doing other offensive things. So. Right. So we need to do that. Did we did we finish the artillery fire? We did not. Okay. So uh, you made contact. Uh, you could drift at six inches, or you could do a new target. I don't think that six inches is going to help. No, nope. um, but I don't know what else we're going to. Little yellow counter and put it where you want to center your fire. Um, so this guy right here, 
It's the only observer. Do times. we have, is the battalion, oh, the battalion commander's back here quivering. This um, guy, it's, it's one over here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Couldn't this guy up on the hill see the M901 as well over here? Yeah, uh, uh, do a range on them. Because you'd have to, you'd have to spot them. Have to spot, them. yeah. I don't know what the range is. What was it? Sixty? Oh, at least it's 60. it's under sixty. So uh, they're in the open. So if you roll eight or less, you you see those vehicles there. Go. Cool. You want me to do that? Oop. I think that'd be a good target to kill. All right, that's what I'll do. But oh, so, yep. yep. Yeah. Yep. They're aware of them, and I would say, yeah, they've got a clear shot over the town. They can see vehicles behind the town. Boom, 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 boom. You hear the you hear the drum beats in the distance. Oh, no, we had bomber. This is to hit, which I did horribly with. Well, the nine. I don't know if that's. All right, that's to be on target, I guess. I rolled you have, nine. yep, you have missed. So now you're going to roll uh, white, white die for direction, red die for distance, or however you want to do it. Okay. So it's going to go towards the bottom of the table three inches, which shouldn't be too bad. You'll still get one of them. It's going to end up right there. Yeah, and it's going to fall on the, the two um, Abrams there as well. So. Nice. All right, so start with the M901. This is purely to hit. Right, no effect other than the cohesion roll. Roll of eight. I don't, know if, I don't think that does it, right? I you need, need five it, or less. It says it's five or less, and okay. you've got a minus one. So, so yeah. next one here. Nope. Oh, uh, Come on, and baby. the other Abrams. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. well, wait a minute. You got to reroll that white die. I'm sorry. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna. Pull oh, I don't know what number pull, it is. I'm gonna yeah. pull that die. I'm gonna reroll it. Hold on. Ready? Of course. Now watch. Okay. No. Oh. Okay. He has oh, to hold. Five. Yeah. If he were in motion, you have to hold. That's the effect there. That was. Uh, that was almost huge. <laughs> yes. We're having way too much fun with the artillery splatters. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix them. Just get them over there. <laughs> okay. All you got to do is put your mouse over and hit F. And it fixes it. We're actually All right, done. It, We're, this, this doesn't count anymore, right? These. They're gone, yeah. Yeah, there you go. After a turn. Any other uh, supporting fire? I don't know... Well, you've got the, you could fire into the smoke. Go for the M113s again. Uh, wait, yeah, I didn't oh, wait. No, no, you're in motion. Yeah. So you would you would do that during advancing fire. So. Can these BMPs do uh, ATGM? On... So there's, there's, yeah. Oh, they were in they're, motion. They're in motion, Shit. so they can't do ATGMs till they stop. And also because they're in motion, they're not eligible for supporting fire. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. All right. Thank you for explaining that. Um, uh, okay. Sounds like you're in the in the movement. All Sorry. right. I think I'm gonna move these bad boys. So wow, these guys are toast. I'm gonna have to just deal with it. So if I okay, so here's a little bit of a tactic from the game. It's so the game wise, but if I so if I move these guys into if you want to take pot shots at these guys, then you're gonna be using your fire on these guys first, right? Right. And then I have the decision, I see you moving them forward and stopping them. I can wait till defensive final fire. So like, hey, maybe he's gonna pull his uh tanks out too. But There'd be a lot of situations where I want to do first fire, like I don't want you to get where you're going, like the next piece of cover, okay. things like that. Yeah. Right. At this point, I'm. So you brought a, a platoon, platoon forward and stopped them, right. and, then, and then, uh, then this platoon is coming forward and stopping, yeah. basically. Yeah. So the platoon that I can see, you can imagine I'm going to shoot at, but I'm still I'm not doing it yet because I'm waiting to see what you do with your T-72s. Well, who would you fire? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what are you, what's going on? All right. Um, so my BMPs can just go across the, the river here, can't they? I feel like I just needed. Just... Are they? So they came to the river last turn. So yeah, and this turn. Stopped. Yeah, gotcha. this turn that they would they would just be on the far bank of the river. This, actually, this ended up being a reasonable scenario. Um, yeah, this is. 
This is uh, tactically tactic interesting. interesting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the tanks can do the same thing since they can river forward, and you just roll. You avoid box cars when you roll to avoid bogging them. Okay. Oh, good gravy! All right, so can I just can I skirt around? This is going to be extra movement to come through here. Do I need to roll another bog to come through here? Uh, no, if you're since you're at the back of the woods, you just want to go around the woods. You would just you just know to yourself. You started moving. You turned. You turned. You turned. Yep. I'm basically going here within my. I'm not. I'm just trying to right. keep out of his right. Radius. And when I when I defensive fire you, uh, you can uh, at that point you can declare gun duel. So. Okay, that's what I would do if you do it. Are you doing it? Uh, I haven't decided yet. I don't have to yet. Oh, you go. Well, you can wait until I'm done. Right. Son so, uh, yeah, that's the, the final fire. Oh, okay. So, those three tanks, if you would give us three uh, two die six rolls. Myself? Oh, well, Dylan, could you could you roll your dice three times? I mean, just here. Here's just your not... dice over here, by oh, the way, Dylan. Oh, those are my dice. Okay, you... I'll do it again. Is that right? Where's my dice? Okay, first tank is fine. Second tank's fine. Third tank's fine. They love the mud. All right, now I'm thinking. Now tank ballet. I'm going to keep, I'm going to give you something to think about. He's moving. He's moving. He's come out of the woods. Am I 20, am I 20 inches? I'm not going to pre-measure. Am I 20 inches? Okay. Just keep moving. Yeah, there's no reason to measure, so. Oh uh, no, he he's supporting fired. He has to stay back. He you're was your overall you right, sir. All right. All right. Any other mm. movement happening up, say, in the town? Yeah. I'm just I'll sit around back here with my tower. We're gonna have to like come up with like a modern armor gauntlet. So we can throw down the modern armor gauntlet for the duels, <laughs> <laughs> like a big, like a. <laughs> I shall see you on the field yeah. of honor. <laughs> All right, that's where I'm going to move. Are you going to take any pot shots? Because I'm going to go out of sunlight, obviously. Uh, no. Go ahead and make that move. Thank you. Yeah, if you'd set this scenario in 1982, I'd have M60s and no DU. And it would look very different. So I think looking at the situation, I'm aware vehicles are moving along the river, but I don't see them anymore. So in a T seventy two by the river. <laughs> if you're really lucky, you'll live in a van down by the river. Yes, exactly. That's what it's gonna but we, we officially need to have a van. Every time we have a river in one of these scenarios, we have put to a put van a van by, by yeah. the river. <laughs> yeah, we have miniatures for, for Chris uh, Farley. Western reporters, and we were waiting to. Uh, that 1982 campaign isn't finished because of because of the pandemic. Um, we had uh, the Russians had taken Fulda, and we were we were bringing in the the third armor. What the heck happened to your turret over here? And we had a we had a a Western news reporting team and a van ready to go. All right, I am gonna start thinking about my defensive final fires here. All right, so that stationary to stationary, the base is 10. Uh, that's it. This is when I pray bad rolls on your part, and that's basically the only reason I did it. Mm -hmm. I have uh, the, the round fell back out of the breach. Nice. <laughs> this is where you literally have to roll the dice as the, as the Soviets. Yeah. yeah. 
you got to get into the 20 inches though all right so next vehicle could do the same thing oh please wait can i not declare a duel oh, oh absolutely yeah actually yes you could have on the first one i'm sorry i moved too fast uh you can declare a duel on the first one and if you can roll better than me uh, you'll hit first yeah so yeah you, you're starting at a 10 and you are stabilized firing after advancing that's a nine eight so you would be on an eight you hit uh and now uh before we get to the critical on the other one so now we're looking at Uh -huh. We are between 15 and 20, so your TK would be 7, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yes. You have killed my tank. Yeah. Wow. You have to make noise, too. When you do yeah, it. there we are. So the next vehicle here has made a critical hit, and I'm pretty sure we're... We had it before, 105... 28. Yeah, we're on TK9. Uh, except we went down. It's still the same thing. We went down on armor class because of the critical hit. So it's still a, a 9. And you're dead. You can have the honors of taking the turret off and flipping it and just, just move it over. Flip it. Here, I flip it. Okay. There we go. Ammo rack. And let's I'll put a There we are. Yeah. All right. Tit for tat at least. There we go. All right. Um, Next vehicle. I've got this guy. And so this oh bother. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I hit. Mm. <laughs> and he's dead. Oh, oh. The, the, the deadliness. Tell me what was that face hey, I had to you. Otherwise, I got, one of them. I got one of them. I'm pretty happy. I reckon that's awesome that you got one of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably low probability. All right. So that's the shot on this one. And are those guys still in motion? I think that... No, they're stationary. Okay. So again, uh, you uh, you were I'm pretty sure you were aware of these guys. So you can declare a gun duel. Uh, okay, gun duel. <laughs> All right, give it a roll. I've rolled a 10, and that's what I needed. So all you have to do is hit by more than you needed. That less than you needed. Yeah. Mm. I think I got that. I think mm. I got that. All right, so first step's the range. We're, we'll call it 20. If we were sitting at the table, we wouldn't know it was 20.1. So that is your TK7. Just roll for a seven, okay. is it? There's no mods. Right. Mm. He's dead. He's got dead, another Jim. Yep, and then my shot does not go this off because you right. got your shot off first. This guy right here. Oh, that's a nice mechanic. Well, oh, that's great. Yeah, so so is it an incentive to, to win your gun duel? That is a that is a good mechanic. I do agree. Now the yeah. only reason you would not do it is if you were holding fire for another unit of higher priority, I guess. Higher value, yeah. If if you yeah, if you thought, oh well, the people shooting at me I won't hit anyway, they're too far away, that kind of thing. Or they won't then, do uh, any harm. Right, yeah. Hmm. yeah. See, he came around the corner and stopped. He rolled. Yeah, he, he definitely he hit by more than than I would hit you. So that's that. All right, not the too bad. Text. Not too bad. I'm trying to see if there's any more uh, defensive fire. I might be in infantry any tank range. Right here? Yeah. Of course, it's American about... subs light. Let me see what that range actually is. The visibility, the detection is ten 
well, in reverse, it's what, 10 inches this way for them to see them? Uh, you're moving. We're in the building. So, yeah, that would be. Uh, I am out of range, though. We, okay. we still have we still have laws and not called good stuff. So. so, no no shot from there. And then, aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to say not the back vehicle, but definitely the front one. Yep. And the BMPs, are they in motion? No, they stopped. So we're just looking at a 10 there. Hit. And now, since we're firing into, I think, three points of armor, uh, this is a TK 11. Uh, cannon round sets that BMP on fire, so uh, the uh, there's no chance for the infantry to get out. I've forgotten all about my infantry. I should have, should have put them out last in. Oops. Oh well, yeah. Whoop, wrong vehicle. Let me see the ITVs. My smoke hasn't dissipated yet. So they've got no targets. This tank here. No defensive fire there. And nobody else can see that one there. So that's it. That's all the defensive fire. And let's see, you already advancing fired with the tank that can see me. Uh, your BMPs could try to shoot, or you could try to hold off to where your, your ATM crews are have a better chance of hitting. I think I'm going to take the shot. OK. The shot. So. Okay. You're uh you're what about twenty right? I think so. Here, okay, I can, I can measure it. Yeah. So Saclos, your base is ten. You're over twelve. That's what matters. So if you're too close, if you're too close, then it's hard to hit. Uh, so you start at ten. You moved. Um. Uh. So that's uh basically you're looking at sevens. Yeah, he's not firing the missile. Got it. He, he stopped, so he can fire oh, now. Stop. Yeah. Okay. This guy rolled a six. He rolled a six. Oh, so it's M heat. Nice. Uh, frontal armor. So 10 points of armor, M heat. You would normally be a five, but the Chobo. Minus three. Yeah, it makes it stick eyes. That's what you need. Oh, oh so close. Oh. <laughs> you Just have... give it to him. Just give it to him. No, nope, right. nope. It's in the rules. That's an immobilization. Right. We have an immobilization chip. Yes, there should be one. Hold on, okay. I got a chip for that. Um, this one right here. And my cohesion roll to stay in the vehicle. There we are. Yep. Oh, perfect. Right on top. So now he's stuck. And you have two more shots if you want them. Now remember the guy who fired. Uh huh. Uh, he's going to have to spend a movement phase out of, you know, crew exposed, reloading. To reload, right. So yeah. so I have to... Mark it with something. Yeah. Exposed. I haven't exposed. That. Oh. Great. So I'll fire again here. Okay, next vehicle. So to hit. Hits. Hits. Yeah. And there's your snake eyes again. Snake eyes. No. Okay, to hit with this. So you mark him as well, yeah. Alright. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah, you gotta watch out when you still have things uh, highlighted. Alright, so rolling to hit with a TGM here. That's a hit. That's another oh, hit. I'm nice. doing pretty good on hits. And then this Very is for accurate. Snake Eyes. No, oh. of course not. Uh, bunk, bunk, whatever. Bunk. But one managed to uh, yeah. blow away some road wheels or uh, or the track. track so. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I'd say. And this guy's good. very good. I'd say. Yeah. This is. I need to reload. Let's see. The guy in town there fired already, and the BMP who had eyeballs on people died. So I think that's that's it. Correct, and that's it for the entire turn two. Top of the second. Oh. So now we come around to my cohesion. Oh, 
Yeah. So my platoon here that just lost a vehicle, two vehicles. What's that? You got something? You do? Do you see an M113? You can blow it away. What is All the right, scale? Yeah. Let me ask you, what is the scale of the M113 to the M1 Abrams as far as length? Is it maybe two thirds? They could. They should maybe be a little bit bigger than they are. Not too bad. About that. Yeah, that looks about right. So anyway, you, you moved and then you stopped. You're looking at a moving target. So you go from 10 to 9 to 8 to 6. Six. All right, you hit. Now that's a uh, 125 millimeter Gen 1 DU hitting, uh, is it one or two points? Or anyway, roll again. Anything less than Snake Eyes. Yeah, you have killed that in 113. Uh, yeah, the top right one. This one? This one. That one, yeah. All righty. That's another cohesion roll. All right, so my cohesion rolls. Starting with the M113 platoon. Nine, let's see, 33% casualties, one supporting unit should be good. Okay, so now moving on to the uh, command element here. All right, they're huh. okay. Uh, the other M113 platoon, they're okay. The um, Abrams platoon close to town with no casualties, loves it. And the uh, Abrams platoon with 50% casualties. Mm -hmm. One sporting unit, so that's going to take me from 10 to 9. Mm. And I love it. <laughs> Great roll. Uh, twos and threes are good enough to, like, improve your cohesion. Otherwise, mm -hmm. the only way to improve cohesion is to stop what you're doing and reorganize. All right, so all the sporting fires and defensive fires come off. And what's left of my force gets to shoot back. Oh, and the smoke from the M113s comes off. All right, supporting fire. My immobilized guy obviously is going to do that. He can't seem to find any tanks to shoot at, so he's going to shoot at a BMP. And obviously, that's 30 inches, 105 millimeter. We start at a nine, and there's no other modifiers. So, oh. he hits. <laughs> and does it even, do you even need to roll? And vaporizes it. It's on fire. <laughs> it's more of a, the, yeah. It's yeah, not even there. No opportunity for the passengers. Which one do you want? So this one? It was the middle one. Yeah. Oh, oh that one's fine. This, you already marked one. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, next vehicle in the woods here. Next to it is going to shoot as well. And the BMPs are who he knows about. So, hit. And, yep, that's killed that BMP as well. So, two dead BMPs. So that's that platoon. Now this platoon here. I'm not clear that I have. I can't see that tank. So that's interesting. Uh, and the tank that I could see from the ITVs has moved. So I don't see it now. Oh, there we go. All right. So another supporting fire on a BMP there. Is he able to 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 duel you with a missile? He's stationary, uh, but this is supporting fire. That right. that would be during defensive okay. fire. So, just checking my checking my line of shot again. Let's see. Uh, well, I think he gets a point of intervening terrain because I'm shooting through yeah. all the the stuff in the yeah. center of town. Yeah. So, and I'm turning my turret. So that takes me from uh, 10 to 9, and then in between takes me to 8. So you, you said he was stationary, right? Yep. All right, he is on fire. 
Or is it this one? And I believe I have run out of people I can see. <laughs> so, all right. Now, this platoon's in terrible trouble, but they've got people behind them. So, all right, I'll continue with the mission. All right. Going into my movement phase, uh, we have M113s pulling in behind these houses and dismounting. Might have a shot on the M113 coming into town if you wanted it. So yeah, I was going to say, yeah, okay. um, I'm just I'm just wondering what you're going to do with the rest of them. But... Okay, so you've got a BM MP M113 driving in front of you. You've got, of course, the cannons on the the BMP. I was going to say they use the 30 mil, obviously. Right. How much so it's on? a snap fire. It's uh, at a moving target that'll affect things a little bit. Uh, <laughs> We're under 12, so we start at 10. Snapfire is 9, moving is 7. Actually, 6, because you don't see me moving very far. Like, you're, you're seeing me coming through a gap. So 6 or less, and no yeah. hit. Oh, OK. Seems a bit challenging. Hold on. Here we go. No, nope. you missed. All right. Scare that M113 crew, and there's your defensive fight. All right, and they are dismounting, and the other end, 113, comes here and is dismounting as well. So, got all my infantry into the town. And what else have I got going on? All right. I do believe that's all my movement. Um, here, I'll clone some infantry. Is it me or do you not have the M113 in the American armor cards? It should be there. Hmm. It's in the. Um... I just did a search on it. I'm not finding it. Oh, well. It's all right. Yeah. American armored personnel carriers or IFV. Uh, so M113, uh, 19R. One point of armor, so and uh, a fifty cal. So if he'd uh, if he'd a hit, all right. Uh, that is my that is my movement. And is there any final defensive fire? Mm, I don't believe so. This... Oh, he he saw an M one thirteen. You're right. He can shoot an M one thirteen. But uh, hold on, hold on. Before I do that, though, I you still haven't moved. Well, you haven't moved this unit, right? That guy fired. The other tank right here has not fired. Has not moved yet. I would think I would want to fire on that. Or can I? But even you can't. See it? You can't a defensive fire. Uh, and you're lucky. I forgot all about him and you. Uh, but you could you could shoot at the M113s, okay. and it wouldn't cost you uh, a fire opportunity coming around your supporting. Player. All right, I'll do that. Well, it's three. You have definitely hit, and it's going to be an eleven. Uh, We're good. So that M113 is dead, yeah. and we'll we'll say. We'll back it up and say you got the crew as well. Right. Is that Control X? There. 
kept the passengers, I mean. All right. Uh, so that was his defensive fire. Now, my advancing fire, now I've noticed you. I do have advancing fire. Do we want to reduce these, this original infantry we put down to one figure? Or are you doing like one figure for a platoon? Or a I was doing one for squad. Yeah. All right here. Had you put a whole platoon in here? I did put a platoon. Ah, in. So okay. whatever, whatever gonna, is appropriate. Yeah. I'm not gonna so um, my advancing fire, the tank I forgot about there, uh, I'm going to pay a points penalty because I didn't go anywhere, but I, I waited till advancing fire. So this being 26, and this being under 5 millimeter, this would start at a 10, goes down to a 9. So I've hit, huh. and it being, did I say 26 inch? Huh. Yeah, so uh, 105 millimeter, base is 28, so that's going to be a 7 to kill. Please don't. And <laughs> he is unknown. He has been, he has been stunned. Ooh. So this is the outcome where you don't know whether the vehicle is dead or not, and... Uh, Ideally, you do blind rolls. I don't know how we can do that on the table here, but maybe for demonstration purposes, we'll just do it together. But his his status is unknown, and we're or during every cohesion, we find out whether he's really around or not. Okay. So that finishes my turn, I think. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, there's no close combat or anything like that. So we're into turn three. This has been Bottom 10 third, lethal minutes, and... Yeah. We start off uh, with contacts and cohesions. All right, I've got a cohesion for the infantry platoon, obviously. He's looking a bit sick. All right, let's check uh, artillery contact down here for this guy. Um, got seven. It. So I'm in contact here. Do you want to roll for the other? Yeah. Yep. They're in contact. Good. All right. I so six. Yep. They are in contact. I think good. Um, All right, so where do we want to start with the cohesion rolls? Let's see. Oh, I'll just do mine. I'll just do um, mine. I can do on. this. Yeah, can that can be this. one die. Oh, one die for Keishan, is it? Uh, no, no, for the stunt vehicle. Oh, so right. roll, a, roll one die. Right I here, just roll I do this. Cohesion, so I show one. I'm gonna let, yeah, you love it. Yeah, I'm going to let him finish. Okay. So the that was the infantry cohesion, now the armor. For me, uh, for Dylan. Oh, I didn't lose a tank this turn, but I just keep rolling away. Well, you rolled for the infantry just now, right? Or was that for the tanks? No, I he just meant for the infantry. When do you roll cohesion? Because I haven't suffered any losses in that like, tank between this turn. If you've been fired on, which you were, you were fired on. You roll. Oh, okay. I think he's good. You love it. All right, so this okay, so guy... one die for that guy, and if if he's dead, then you don't need to roll cohesion. Okay, so here's the one die for that. So you roll the six. So the stun chart says that goes into unknown. So he's unknown till the next cohesion phase. So the tanks don't need to roll cohesion. Now your BMPs, um, you've no. taken twenty five percent casualties, yeah. and then you know whether you've lost your HQ vehicle or not. So. All right, so there's a one die roll or two? Two dice. Two dice. Yeah, that's what I All right. And, and they, they're they fine. Okay. Going from 10 down for the mm -hmm. losses, but none of the other things that would happen have, have happened that would make them more, more likely to fail. So we have a, a vehicle that's gone into unknown from stunned. And I can keep shooting at it. I don't know what's going to happen to it. And what we do on the table is we make the roll secret. We invert the chit. So... You can keep shooting at it for four turns, not knowing whether it's alive or dead. Uh, so now uh, we're in sporting fire. So that would be uh, artillery and any stationary vehicles want to shoot. Uh, I wouldn't mind throwing something. <laughs> My son's commenting. He's just noticed all the vehicles on the hill. That is, that's their off-board artillery. <laughs> this is what we're firing right now. All right. So, wow. Your surviving guys right here. Yep. I'd like to fire. I'd like to call in a battery here. 
least attempt to. Yeah. All right. And you're going to fire for effect? Yes. Yes. Yeah. The other way you could do it is a spotting round now. Mm -hmm. And then if you didn't change your mind, right. you would do. So and we start now with the activation roll. Right. Okay. So here's. They are available. Okay. So, and I don't have anyone for counter battery. So here we go. And now you roll your uh, your accuracy. This is to hit. Ooh. It's accurate. And now you're going to roll uh, the indirect fire on the two vehicles. So that's a, pretty much you need a five or less, but it's down to a snake eyes still? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's better than that. Uh, you're rolling on that chart, uh, and you're minus one on your roll because the size of the artillery. Right. And then there's... Um, you could immobilize, and you have a small chance of a direct hit. So we're going to do that one first, right? So the, okay. Uh, no further effect on the immobilized guy, and so then the one in the woods. One in the woods. Ugh. No further effect. Yep. Okay. Ugh. But you forced a cohesion check. All right. So that would be one of the purple dots. there and that's it for artillery call support. what about the other battery right so are you one or two batteries well there's only the one battery one battery okay yeah. which in retrospect <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> we, we, it might have done the soviets better to have multiple but it's all right hasty attack they'll try again with three times the numbers we have many more. We send more. Well, in the book, the next chapter is they do try again and they use chemical rounds. So that would be fun. <laughs> oh, there that's, you go. that's the next match. Yeah. Which, yeah, which the main effect in game terms is lowering cohesion. So uh, if you're under chemical oh, yeah. fire, yeah, you're less likely to complete orders and things like that. So. All right. So that's all support. Fire. Now, if you're fighting reservists, they might just up and book off the table. <laughs> Do you have any direct fire, Peter? Um, possibly. Can this guy can't because he did defensive? He's unknown, so actually he can't do anything. Um, can. If your BMPs on the right had a line, can this, you could. Can the this ones on the left are going to be busy. Yeah, so yeah, take the ruler out. Yeah, I don't know what the, what is the distance? 40 something for the ATGM? Yeah, I'd say you got a shot. Right. Yeah, so let's just range. Definitely in range. Roll two. Roll to hit. Oh, missed. Amazing. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> treacherously bad when bad, and horrendously good when good. All right. So speaking of. Is this guy reloaded? He's going to reload during his movement phase. So he could fire during advancing fire if or he was he still alive. Or he could just move out of arc if he wanted. Yep. To, right. Yeah. He's right. Probably. He just, <laughs> yeah. He's not eligible to fire yet, but he could this turn because it would be during advancing fire. So that's a, that's a one point difference if he's stationary. So. I think I'm going to give him a sabbatical. Um, is there anything as far as like, losing entire units like platoons that... well you don't have you don't have the supporting unit uh but that's the only uh direct thing right you, you, there's no there's, like there's no army cohesion army morale or right like yeah because okay. right. you don't even know what's happening <laughs> <laughs> at, at this scale and this at this speed yeah. they're not even going to know they're dead all right right um <laughs> all right that's all support i think and wait, all direct? Do we have any more direct here? Yeah, we do. So he'll have a shot over all these guys, up, and this guy will shoot at him while I'm free. Oh, yeah, you still got this this tank. That's right. Don't, don't so what's his target? I'm not quite sure. Is that guy dead, is he? There's one dead in the woods, and then this guy is alive. This little sucker right there. I can't even see him? him, but yeah, yeah, I'll be shooting at him. Like, you got the guy in the open. Him. The guy in the open is uh, this guy. Not, 
He's not facing you. So. Yeah, but I don't think you're 20. You can only hit. Well, you can't. You're over 20 else. in both cases. Yeah. So. so I can't see them. Intervening. Can't see them. But I can see that like Cano at over twenty. Yeah. I, I um, wish to give I wish to give you free advice, even though we're playing on opposite sides. That is a side shot at the immobilized Abrams. So that, uh, that's that, what I was about to say. This this fella here out in the open is so he's gonna the do, one I want to hit. So he'd want to do advancing fire on him. That's the only thing. He no, no. So. no, he wants to do supporting fire right now. Okay. I want to fire yeah. right now. And. Uh, Let's see, we're under 30. Oh, I see. So so see. this is just a 10. It's a new target. So mm -hmm. if he hits, he's on the side armor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you okay, start. Okay, so I roll? Yep. Uh, he's hit. Okay. Yes. And the side armor of the non-HAM1, oh, non-IP M1. Give me a second. Drum roll. I'm flipping pages still. It's a five, isn't it? I think you're right, but I'm blind. It's a five. And with 125 millimeter first generation depleted uranium, that is a to kill number of 11. So don't roll boxcars. <laughs> Wait, I would redo that. <laughs> Just, just, it's Thailand and, and press R on your keyboard. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, he's dead. You dead, killed him. Dead. Nice shot. All right. <laughs> we're, 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 we're having too much fun. That was pretty cool looking. All right. Flanking shot for the win. Which, in the Gulf War, uh, you know, the only like mission kill Abrams is uh, this famous case where the, the commander was standing on the vehicle and was hit, uh, hit in the turret rear with a heat round. Oh, so that platoon's not doing so well. No, that, that platoon uh, is down to a vehicle. So, Which the guy that just took that shot can't see my last guy because of the, the lay of the woods. So. Hmm? It's all up to you, Peter, on that flank. We'll see. <laughs> I don't have much left. <laughs> Maybe if Miracle Boy here survives, I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Any other sporting fire? Yes, this, this BMP is going to shoot at that M113 that he missed last time. Okay. Fire away. So I'll just roll the dice and see what we get. Huh? Seven. Oh, no. That's it. That's it. 30 millimeter. 30 millimeter. One moment. Processing. All right. Uh, you are a TK9. You could penetrate an M113 from a couple miles away. I can't see the one dying. Five, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Super dead. <clears throat> Just dead. When did you hit? This guy at the back of the town, yeah. So oh, the two guys oh. still inside the vehicle are dead. <laughs> yep. Cool is, uh, yeah, you could have done that from a couple kilometers away. So this infantry has gone too? No, no, he's there. Not he's the already dismounted, there. yeah. So he, he came out of the vehicle and went into the, the buildings. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other? Phase are we on? Support. Remind me. That that was supporting fire. So if that's the end of supporting fire, we're into movement. I need to make as a phase marker so, so that we. There can... we go. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, we use a whiteboard in the game room. Yeah, you know what? We can even use like a little a little tracking board that we just move it as we go. If we want to get. Ah oh, man, I've only done this face to face a handful of times since the pandemic started. So I'm going to fix your oh. arc. Whoever so painted, whoever painted this one. Here. 
Okay. And obviously they're not facing that way. How far are you coming? Just that far, thank you. And I think I can see you nicely. Yikes. Are you remaining in motion or are you stopping? We will be ceasing movement. Okay. We've been flanked. Oh. If only my M113s were uh, festooned with missiles. The American battle taxi approach. That was from previous turn. Just noticed it. Oof, now you're going to get some BMP on flanks. Nice. <clears throat> Yeah, heat round against side armor is going to do some good. Yeah, the Soviet armor component's not looking so good. So wait, we're on which? I'm sorry, we're on which phase again? Movement. Movement of mine. All right. I so, think I uh, to... yeah, right. So the minimum you have to do is say I'm reloading, which would make you eligible as a okay, reloading. defensive fire target. Okay. Has this fired up here? Is it your guy here? He's in the woods here. He could shoot at you and you could gun duel him. I will do that. <clears throat> I'm waiting to see who else moves because. All right. Yeah. Well, can this guy even move? He can't, being an unknown. He's unknown, so yeah, you don't do anything with him. And then when my cohesion phase comes around, you'll roll for him again. Mm -hmm. He's just sitting there in the open, a little trail of smoke coming out of him. What is the movement of these guys? It's pretty good, isn't it? But we don't want to get too close because they got pretty good range on there. I think I'm going to do this. Hmm, I don't want to break his... I'm going to do an extra movement around him. Turns there, but I didn't go that far at all. Yeah, 20. All right, so these guys are stopping. They're not in motion. I have someone else I can shoot at. Yeah, well, yeah. I want to try to at least take somebody out over here. All right, and <clears throat> so moved, moved. This guy can't move. This guy can't move because he was a... Supporting, supporting fire, fire and right? That's and this guy copy. down here has reloaded. Okay, He's reloaded. So, can you give me some infantry, Peter, please? By, my, by these guys in the town, these two BMPs in the town. Marker. Oh yeah. Oop, flip it. You might just hit the F on it to flip it. Oh, here I'll flip it for you. Oh wait a minute, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, shizzles. Hold on. There you go. Move him however you want. I can scale him down a little bit if you want. To. He's fine. Move him? Or are you allowed to do that? What do you want, what do you, what do you want him to do? Here, I'll scale. I just want another team. I'll just scale him down just a little bit. And put him right over here. You want? I know. I just want. I want two teams. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me give you another team then. There you go. Oh, thank you. Huh? All right. Meanwhile.
I am firing on your BMP. You can choose to fire back if you wish. Yes, I do. So right I here. am, yeah, I'm on a 10. I just barely hit you. So you, if, all you have to do is, is beat you to hit roll, hmm. which you do. So now you're, uh, you're looking snake eyes again. Oh. All right, and now my effect. Uh, let's see. Uh, you are dead. Of course. And uh, obviously, you know which vehicles your um, uh, commander for the BMP Out company. The BMP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mark it, but you can kind of do it randomly if you want. Yeah, randomize it because it'll affect your cohesion, obviously. So. The company, though, was one, two, three. All all BMTs together were in a company? No, let me go look. Let me go just look at what we had here. No. Okay, so there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or so. Did we have eight all there? Yeah, we just use six, so I'll just do a random six on that. It's in, in this one right here. Well, I'll put a marker. Okay. I'll put a COPMP on there. <clears throat> All right. Snapfire, turning turret. So I go from 10 to 8. I'm going to shoot at the nearest BMP. Oh, uh, right. Where? From right here? Yeah. Oh, from. Wow. Here, go the ruler. Oh. All right, so having missed with him, this guy here gonna turn his turret. So, uh, pretty sure that's the same odds. And that's two misses. So we'll do the same thing with the vehicle in the woods. See if we make it three for three. There we have a hit. All right. And the, the kill obviously didn't roll box cars. So this guy is on fire. Ouch. So your vehicles, now they did just get a spot on me coming around the corner there. So they weren't eligible for gun duel, but in advancing fire, the survivors can shoot. And if they hit my hull, I may die. Let me see if I got anything else. Let's see, there's that guy. Those you guys, guys here, you mean? You're talking about? Yeah, yeah. That's also true with the... Is that a side hole hit there too, would that be? No, uh, not quite. That one looks like it's all front. Uh, when the turret and the hull are facing different directions, uh, then we do the thing where we see where the hit happened. Those guys also can advance in fire, so yeah, they'll be good that's, there. So that's what I'm intending. And, and I let I let that tank come out after I fired, so that's, so that's where you do it. Should I go ahead and? I'm sorry, which one? Uh, I I noticed. That tank move, I'd already reacted to the BMP, so that's the right, right way to do so that. So I can fire so. here. Yes, you can. Is this guy and, visible? Yeah. So he's going to have a point of cover from the woods. Actually, two from the woods. Oh, then hold you on. can fire the guy in the open. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Can I, Ten. I you moved. You mm -hmm. stopped. All right. So we go seven. So I'm going to fire and, with this guy first. Okay. Let's see what happens here. And that has hit the turret, which is facing away from you. So now five points of armor and heat. Uh, 11 becomes an eight. You Ooh, killed that. Oh, animal. yeah. Killed this guy. All right. One of us, the one I was shooting you. Right here, right?
button. So you've got you've got one other that could shoot into the woods. Yeah, that's what he's, I was gonna do. He's down to a five to hit, and then uh, the guys advancing from the north side could take shots too. All right, I'm doing that, and oh, oh. missed. Yep. So close. The woods made you miss. Mm -hmm. so. All right, so Dylan, you've got two vehicles. You've got vehicles. Uh, you've got a vehicle in front of you in the woods behind a wreck. And you've also got a vehicle off to your right uh, in the woods. It's in the woods. I think I'll, I think I'll fire twice at the guy alongside on to. So this guy here, you mean? Yes, guys. Yeah. yeah. So if your color die is lower than your white, you you hit the turret. So keep an eye on that. So I'm rolling to hit. All right. And you hit. That's what you needed. You are better than what you needed. You have hit the turret, so you've hit uh, you've hit the frontal armor on the turret. So now you need to roll uh, snake eyes for a kill. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh, so close! Oh, <laughs> wow, so close! You've immobilized very, him. That's very good, impressive. Uh, you know, there you go. Uh, Might as well reuse it. Then, for the second. The second BMP. Okay. And uh yeah. uh let's see, so ten, seven, five, four to hit. Oh, oh no. you missed. All right. So yeah, we need to mark both of those that they have expended their their tubes. I did. Here. Oh, oh yeah. no, it's the other Dylan's too. Yeah. Hey, these guys in the woods. That's right here. Yep. Correct. You cannot complain about the results, though. Right. Wow. Carnage. I want to shoot this T seventy two at that dude who's mobilized. Okay. Uh, so he's got the cover of the woods. So you start at ten, which takes it to eight, and firing after moving is seven six. And show me your roll. Oh. All right. Wow, you've hit, and you have hit the uh, the hull, which is facing you. So let's see the range. Frontal fourteen. Fourteen, and your basis is twenty. So yeah, TK nine. So roll again. Oh. You have re immobilized him. Oh. Wow, that was I'm so awful. close. Oh my god, that was so close. Wow. That's close. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have some tough cohesion rolls this turn, though. Man, oh, good heavens. All right. So uh, supporting fires and then defensive fires come off. All right, cohesion. So my squads in the town. They love it. The platoon in the north, which now is at 25% casualties with a supporting unit. They're all right. The platoon in the south, which is now at 75% casualties and has lost its commander. So we go from 10 to 6. They are not happy. So I got to put a cohesion 3 down. That basically means immobile. So cohesion 3 means I'm not going to be supporting firing. And I have to halt. So I'm, I'll sit there and then I will fire during advancing fire. So he's in he's in a bad spot. Now, all I could choose to do is reorganize instead of firing, which would let me get it to CN2 if I pass cohesion during the your upcoming cohesion phase. All right. And my command platoon does not need to roll. So I got my infantry in the town. That's the only thing I got going for me. All right. So the immobilized people, 
up here. The mobile's guy may as well fire. So he's going to turn his turret back and shoot back at you. So he goes from a 10 to a 9, turning the turret. He hits. And uh, he's in the TK9 here. So you're on fire. Right, this guy down here cannot support a fire. So the right flank is silent. And let's see. So this vehicle here. He's going to fire through a wreck at another BMP. So he's just at a nine. He hits. And another BMP dies. Your, your infantry could get out, though. If they make the bail check, well, we should, one thing we shouldn't forget is we have the battalion command back here. So yes, the infantry squad can get out. All right, that is my supporting fire. So into my movement. Okay. And the infantry. And these BMPs, sorry, M113s are going to do what Doctrine says and run away. All right, so that means any defensive fire? This is the only, we, yeah, right. I don't think we were reloaded here. Yeah, you would have to be firing your cannons. Right. All right, so. Uh, final sense of fire. I do have advancing fire. He is, let's see, starts at a 10. He has the cohesion effects. So he's down to a nine. No other modifier stationary. He barely hits. Uh. And he he uh, takes him out, but your infantry could get out. I actually roll to see if they they survive. So, uh, capital D. Several last two dice. Yeah. Nope. Nope. They're dead. Lovely. All right, so that was that. And then this, this Abram is up here. He's firing advancing fire. Actually, I forgot. I missed. That guy's alive. Uh, I had to pay a point for advancing fire without moving. And I have the I, cohesion penalty. Yeah, the, that guy just there that we just killed, he's alive. This he guy realized. here, he moved. Stabilized is one. Firing after moving is two. There's a wreck in the way is three. So we're at a seven, firing at the remaining BMP. Missed. So you have a BMP still alive. All right, that was advancing fire. There was no other defensive fire. Oh, during my cohesion, by the way, you needed to roll one die for that T-72. No. This one? This unknown yeah. one. Yeah, roll one die. He is eliminated. That just keeps that just keeps going like that? Well, yeah, you 
actually, um, the unknown would either go to eliminate or okay. And then it's just there's the thing where the other player might not know if you could do fog of war with it. So. All right, and that would bring us back around to uh, your cohesion phase. Oh, do we want to. Uh, yeah. Do we want to keep going? Oh, you want to call it? Well, I, I, you're the Soviets. You're attacking. You want to retreat and wait for reinforcements here? I don't know. Well, that is up for you guys. Um. Yeah, we can call it. Analyze this a little bit, though, right? So over here, we got a pretty good position to. Yeah, my flanking attack didn't, yeah. didn't quite get enough time to uh, eventuate. Right. Yeah, that's right. You still have a. a we also yeah. another thing is we got this. We got this battalion command back here that we haven't used. Yeah, if you were willing to uh, right. <laughs> to throw your last reserves in, then you'd be in the town, and then the the core of the town I've got infantry in. So I was waiting for the chance to fire infantry any tank. Um, uh, so yeah, you can still take the town, uh, but you you you've uh, you got a bloody nose in your armor, and so did we. Because uh, yeah, I lost... thought I thought we you know we well, yeah. and this was both of us. Dylan yeah. Dylan contributed yeah. to this as well. Yep. Yeah, we um, lost four four Abrams. This so is pretty good. And bloody nose, definitely. I just didn't I didn't have enough to follow through on it, but then again, I the battalion command might this what I was thinking is pulling them up here and um and trying to punch through. Yeah, I was gonna them. let you do the your your left hook. I basically I had my um my guys there were my deep reserve. Anybody want to make a flanking move? I was hoping I'd get angles on them. So, well, that was a, a very good match. Um, honestly, I think it's almost a draw. I mean, what, what do you what do you consider? I'll, I'll take a draw. Yeah. I mean, I think given enough time, this a time and luck, the way to put it, right? Yeah, I'm you were gonna this was... right. You were gonna be able to assault the town with BMPs and infantry, and uh, you know you just wouldn't have armor support for it. So it'd be a question of whether I felt I had enough armor to to mix it up with the the people in the town. So how how effective is the um, artillery? Because that's what I would I would have been doing next turn or lobbying for anyway. Would have been artillery in the town. How effective is artillery against um, it, ground troops? It'll... Like that? It will keep their heads down. If you're firing 152 millimeter and you're in the stone buildings, you're still very likely to suppress. Okay. So yeah, you could basically the the other very Soviet thing to do at this point would be to flatten the town. Because <laughs> why not, right? Pull back and fire, right? <clears throat> that's also the American thing. <laughs> well, that's, that's how the that's... West German private property. So. Uh, I need to reread. I, I I did reread that chapter, but I need to reread the whole book. It's a great book. So yeah, for the audience, go buy it if you don't have it, and go buy the uh, rules as well. It's a great rule set, Modern Armor. I am definitely due for a reread. So yeah, that's, that's yeah. a it's a really solid book. I, I'd put yeah. it up there with Red Storm Rising. I think I do want to mention though, there is a miniatures game named TV Yankee. This is not affiliated with that in any way. Correct. And um, there is an old, uh, I think it's an Avalon Hill or an SPI, I can't remember, but there is an old Team Yankee yeah, game. Yeah, guy, you're right. Yeah, and they do have a, they do have a module for it. I, I found some of those maps. And cool. Yeah, so it's, there is an old game called that. So, yeah, all right, y'all. Uh, that was very fun. Uh, yeah, thank really, you yeah, so much for putting this on. It's a really, it's a really good rule set, I think. It's a, it plays quick. Um, it has a good... It has a good sense of I go, you go, but not fuddly, right? Um, it, it, it all yeah. it all balances out very well. There's a lot of the, opportunities throughout the turns, and it doesn't. The, the one thing I knew <clears throat> from being in a game where there was a line of tigers and greyhounds drove through them and shot at them from behind, that's the one thing I was not going to let happen in a rule system. 
Uh, do you do you also have a World War II variant of this? Yeah, it's called the Armored Fist, okay. and uh, ironically, uh, since that came out, there has been a Flames of War uh, module for North Africa that came out named Armored Fist. I assume in my honor. <laughs> <laughs> also, we'll, no we'll, affiliation. <laughs> we'll, 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 you can claim that. That's all right. <laughs> we'll, we'll give that to you. <laughs> That's cool. All right. I might have to try that out sometime, too. Yeah, right. same same concepts, just World just, War II technology. Uh, adjusted, yeah. of course. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much, guys. This was yeah, fantastic. It was great. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> good night. Thank you.